Let me give you gist of how I nearly lost my eyesight in 2023. So one day, I was driving on the road, right? They sent me a message. My wife sent me a message. She said she can buy something at shop, right? So as I was driving on the road, and I noticed that, ah, it's looking like something is wrong with my left eye. But it felt like my glasses were dead. I was like, okay, let me remove the glasses. And I cleaned it and I continued driving. But it still felt like that. Now, I reached the house and I tell my wife, I say, ah, it's looking like my left eye. Something is wrong with it. She says, it's not your portion, you will never go blind in Jesus' name. I say, amen, but it's still, it's still looking like that. But, you know, I didn't check, I didn't look at anything, I just continued, and now continued moving around. The next day, they said I should come and host event. I hosted the event, nothing happened. This was Thursday, the first day, Friday was when I hosted the event. Then on Saturday, they said I should come and host another event. As I was hosting the other event, that's when I still noticed that, ah, there's something is still wrong with my eyesight. I now say, okay, since they've not started the event yet, let me go up where there's nobody and just check my eye. How? I say, let me close the right eye or look at, look through the left eye, close the left eye and look through the right eye. I'm just some of you are wondering which eye I close, but that's your business. Now, as I was doing that, immediately I closed this eye, I noticed that, ah, I'm not seeing road at all from this particular eye. Like, I'm not seeing anything. What I was seeing was like, I could see something, but then there are plenty cloud, cloud, cloud inside. I say, hey, Mogbe, glaucoma, oh, Katara. I say, please, sir, can I quickly just leave this meeting? Or can you people start this meeting immediately so that I can go and check my eye? They say, eh, you have collected money to host the event. You don't want to do the event. I say, no, I'm going blind. I want to go and check it. They finally agreed that I should host the meeting on time. I hosted the meeting on time. Then I now quickly drove back to my optometrist. Immediately I got to the optometrist. I entered the optometry shop and I say, ah, please, oh, it's looking like I cannot see road. Right. I say, ah, broker doctor, yeah, yeah, can I take a selfie with you? I say, no, I'm like, I'm literally going blind and you're looking at taking picture because fear don't they catch me at that point. And I say, ah, the person that's supposed to check the eye is not around. Can we give you somebody else or can you wait and come back by 1 p.m.? I say, I cannot come back and wait by 1 p.m. I found another place. I say, Check my eye pressure. They check my eye pressure. See, your eye pressure is normal. I say, hey, okay. Check my retina. They checked my retina. Gave me picture of my retina. Sharp, clear, clean, sweet. They say it's clean. I said, then why am I not seeing road? That's when I now knew that, ah, it's looking like something is sitting on my optic nerve. That's the wire that sends um, electrical signals to the brain. I say, ah, let me go and do MRI. Mainly, I went to do MRI. They found out that there's something that is sitting on the wire that's supposed to send a, a signal to my brain. It could be a tumor, it could be a swollen blood vessel, it could be anything. Now, why am I making this video? It's simply because there are some things that are happening right now for some people that are actually damaging their eyesight. And we want to try and explain everything in this video so that everybody will learn. Offer! Ah, Procode Shop Fiesta is back. Yeah, this time actually in two locations, Lagos and Abuja. It was the last year, not in Lagos. This time, what's that? Yes, now. And then the theme is Y2K. We're taking it back to the 2000s. Uh -uh. As always, I'm always dressed for the occasion. Hey, yo, yes, 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 I'm already yo. dressed for occasion. <laughs> Excuse me. As I did, I didn't the good apart. I don't understand what's going on. You go to understand. Okay, you see that Procode Shop Fiesta? Miss Ebdi Go. Yeah. Oh, that's come up for the job. Oh, yeah. How did you do it? What if I tell you that the things that are destroying your eyesight is happening right in front of you? These are the things that you probably normalized. But the funny thing about the eyes is that the moment it goes bad, that's it. That's the end of it. End of sight. Before we start to discuss the things that destroy your eyes, let's start from understanding how the eye actually works. Because when you understand the parts, you will understand why protecting them is not something you can choose to do, but something that is very important for you to do. So take off the camera on your phone, high tech camera. Every single thing you see from the phone in your hand to the face of your boss to the face of your girlfriend to this video that you are watching to the like and subscribe button that you've been ignoring since you started watching this video is there. Look at it, it's red. It's red. We can even talk about some of you that are colorblind, but it's red. Look at it there. Just click it. Yes. All of these things that you are seeing is simply because light is entering your eye and enters the journey. But before it gets to your to your brain, 
right? There are journeys that it needs to pass. The first part of the eye is the cornea. That's the transparent front layer. To so collect the light the same way the lens at the back of your camera is collecting the light. Now, after that, you see that black circle that you see in the middle? That's called the pupil. It will adjust in size. When it's dark, it will increase in size so that more light can come in, right? When it's very bright, it will reduce in size so that less light can come in. Now, the iris, you see the iris, that's the colored part of your eyes. Some of you have hazel eyes, some of you have brown, some of you have black. That's the gatekeeper that is making sure that that pupil expands or constricts. Behind all of this, you have what you call the lens, right? Now, as the light is entering, if there's no lens, it will just scatter everywhere inside your eye. But because it's scattering everywhere inside your eye, the image might not be clear. So what that lens does is that it actually collects the light and focuses it on the retina. That's the real MVP. Now, inside your retina, you have special cells. And there are two types. You have the rods and then you have the cones that change this light that you are seeing into electrical signals that your brain can now understand. Once it has converted it to electrical signal, it will now pass through a nerve called the optic nerve straight to your brain. It is now your brain that interprets the signal into the pictures that you are seeing. So all of these things that you are seeing me do, that you are watching in this video, is simply electrical signal that is going on inside your brain. Here's the truth you don't want to hear, but I will tell you because that's my job. You see that your retina, eh? Once you have grown the one that you have grown, no new one can grow. You understand what I'm saying? Once they are gone, they are gone. It's not like your hair that if you cut it off, it can grow back or you have wound, it will heal. Once that your retina is damaged, that is it. So you see why blindness is such a big deal and it's not something you can fix. Which is why you have to also take care of that your retina. Very important. Because if anything happens to your retina, happens to your optic nerve, see, it will take a miracle for your eyesight to come back. In the world that we are living in today, over 2.2 billion people suffer from some form of blindness or vision impairment. For example, cataract, glaucoma, refractive error like me that is already using glasses to see road, trachoma, and so on. Now, get this. In 1 billion of these cases, the problem could have been prevented. But you see, they were not. Here in Nigeria that we are making this video from, over 24 million people live with some form of vision loss. Out of that 24 million, 1.3 million people are blind. In many of these cases, it's either because of age, because of injury, or lifestyle choices that people did not take seriously or until it's too late. Now, as you're watching this video, I want you to wind your hand around your head and say it's not your portion. Yes. Now that it's not your portion, let's now learn. Number one, cataracts. You see that lens that we spoke about in the beginning? That lens, very important. That lens, cataract happens when that lens it now becomes cloudy. At first, it looks like your, your eyeglass is dirty. Your vision becomes blurry. The colors that you're seeing starts to look faded. At night, you know, you start to see halo around light. You look around light, you see something that is like a ring around it. Or you're driving and there's so much glare, you can't see. Over time, that clouding in that your lens grows thicker and your sight starts to look like you're looking through uh, you're seeing clouds. Cataracts mostly happen because the protein cells in your eye lens are breaking down. What are the things that can cause it? Things like diabetes, smoking, or you're just looking at the sun too much. Even your family history can make these things come quicker. If you don't treat it, it can lead to blindness. But the good news is that if you have cataracts, they can remove you with surgery, right? And then you can get your lens back. That is the problem that is affecting the lens. But now, how many people can afford the treatment? How many people can afford the lens? How many people can afford, you know, even knowing... How, how many people even know what the signs and symptoms look like? Some people just say, ah, it's like something is happening to my eyesight too. But they will not go to optometrist or ophthalmologist. They'll just go straight, give me glass. You don't understand what they are looking at. If you think that you're beginning to see, you know, if you look at your lens, it's looking like there's something there that's probably cataract. I blessed you. Another case is glaucoma. You see how they used to call hypertension the silent killer? Glaucoma is what they call the silent thief of sight. Now, as you have blood pressure, you also have eye pressure. And glaucoma is simply when the pressure in your eye starts to increase. Now, why is this pressure important? Because as it's increasing, it's damaging something in your eye. 
called the optic nerve. You see that wire that is carrying the vision straight to your brain. It does not have pain. There is no early warning. By the time you notice your vision, that's gone away and you can, and can never come back. Now, what are the things that make it easy for a person to have glaucoma? Number one is age. Number two, family history. Number three, high eye pressure. As there's high blood pressure, there's high eye pressure. Even uncontrolled health problems like hypertension can lead to glaucoma. Now, it's one of the leading causes of irreversible blindness worldwide. The only way you can know is if you're checking your eye regularly. Yes, because you need to catch it early before it tips your sight. Very important. And once you find out that your eye pressure is actually high, your eye doctor will give you some drugs that can actually reduce your eye pressure and then save your sight. But if you don't find it on time, eh, eyesight gone. Glaucoma, remember, glaucoma, silent of sight, hypertension, silent of life. You see, you see what I did there now. The case number three is what you call the age-related macular degeneration. AMD is long word, long English. Yeah. Inside that your retina that we have spoken about, eh, there is one particular part. It's called the macula. It's called the macula. That's the part that lets you see details when you're reading, you're recognizing faces, you're looking at expressions to see whether your baby's lying or she's telling the truth. You know, that's is your macula that's responsible for that. It's detailed. Now, in AMD or age-related macular degeneration, this macula slice slowly breaks down. Yes. You might see the outline of a person, but you might not see their features. You, you are, you're looking at the page, but you know, the words are blurry. It's not clear. The side is clear. The center is not clear. Center is clear. Side is not clear. You just know that you can't make details out. Age is one of the risks. But there are other things. They are eating rubbish. That's part of the risk. There is smoking. They are smoking. Even shisha. Anywhere they see shisha, they find you inside. It's also part of the problem. High blood pressure. There's also family history. Now, AMD will not make you totally blind. But you see that your sharp central vision will collect it. Now, everyday life will not be difficult. Right? You also need to watch out for AMD. Another case study, another thing that can actually tiff your eye is what you know as diabetic retinopathy. This one, uncontrolled diabetes, bad news for your eyes. That high blood sugar that is constantly going high, what it does is that it goes and then it starts to damage the tiny blood vessels at the back of your eye. These blood vessels can either be swelling, they leak, or they even bleed, causing things like blood vision, dark spots, and over time, scar tissue can form, pulling on the retina and leading to permanent blindness. The higher and the longer your sugar stays uncontrolled, the greater the damage to your eye. But there's a way around this. If you control your blood sugar, if you control your blood pressure, you're going for regular eye checks. These things can actually slow down or even stop diabetic retinopathy before it takes away your eyesight. Now, all these eye issues that I've mentioned, you can prevent it if you catch it daily. But the true problem is when you ignore these signs. Some of you, you have normalized blurry vision. You think that that's how they burn you, but if you go and find out the reason why you are not seeing clear, some of you don't even know what clear vision looks like. See, the first day I wore glasses, I nearly cried. What's I nearly come off my eye? Because I'm like, oh, people can see like this. I do not know. Right? So please, go and check your eye. If you know that you are not seeing properly, go and check your eye. Some of you, you have been doing DIY. That's why you're, you're, you're on even this platform that we are on. You're typing how to see better. Just go and see doctor. Just go and see doctor. It is important that you love your eyes in this particular world side day. I'm trying to remind you that your vision is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Nobody should lose their eyesight to things like cataracts when there's surgery. Nobody should go blind from glaucoma when there are regular checks that can detect it. Nobody should accept blindness as their destiny when prevention is possible. So how do you now save your eyes? Bam! That's the question that you're here for. There are some things you must do. Number one, get regular eye check. Just go. Like every other thing in healthcare, there are tests that can find glaucoma, they can find cataract, other issues before they become irreversible. Number two, stop smoking and stop drinking alcohol. Look, when you stop smoking, it lowers your risk of cataracts, macular degeneration, optic nerve damage. Not drinking alcohol also reduces the size, the, the chances of your lens going bad. And then it keeps your vision clearer for longer. Number three, sunglasses. 
UV protection is not guy. Sunglasses not guy. It's only in this country that we've normalized. Sun is bright, shining everywhere. Some of us are just carrying our normal eye and be walking around. The harmful rays from the sun actually damages your eyes. So please, if you are going outside, wear sunglasses. Sometimes wear face cap, hat. All this thing can shield your eyes from the harmful rays of the sun that is slowly damaging your retina and your lens. But you know, you think, ah, that was, just, was such a young boy, he's wearing sunglasses. I think he's just doing shakara. No, I'm protecting my eyes, sir. But if you don't want to protect your own, that's your business. Number four, control and manage your health. Look, when you have diabetes or high blood pressure, these things are damaging the tiny blood vessels. Now, if you manage diabetes and hypertension, they can actually protect your eyes or manage it or reduce the damage to your eyes. Very important. Use medicine wisely. Only the things that your doctor has prescribed for your eyes is the things that you should put inside your eyes. Some people are just putting anything inside their eye. I dropped that at expired since last 17 years. You are still, oh, I think I have one. I, I, I dropped that thing. I carry pam, 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 put inside your eye. If you self medicate with things you don't understand, it can trigger cataract, glaucoma, or even infection inside your eye. Now, food. Fruto, vegetables, oh, fish, oh, nuts, so oh, vitamins. All these things will give your eye the nutrients it needs. It's not in the amount of the food, it's in the quality, my dear. If you are starving your eyes, but you are eating plenty food, you are giving space for your eyes to actually have future problems. Now, shall you see you put that rub in your eye? Yes. <laughs> you think you are washing clothes. You are not. Because whenever you constantly rub your eyes, you are weakening the cornea in front. You see this glass in front. You are weakening it. Yes. You are damaging it. And after a while, if you rub too hard, it can actually have some impact on your eyes. So please, sometimes one way is to rub outside the eyes. Eh? You can rub outside or rub, just rub outside. Just try, right? And even before you do that, make sure you wash your hands because if you go and touch something, you get infected from it, and then you now carry it and rub your eye and wonder why you have Apollo. You say, oh no, I got Apollo by looking inside in Kichi's eye. It's not Kichi that gave you Apollo because you look into her eye. It's your hand. You usually use your hand and touch your eyes. That's how Apollo used to touch you. Another one that people don't even used to talk about is if you are if if you are working with your hands, you know you are probably welding. Wear protective eye goggles. It's only in this country that you see somebody doing dangerous job without any form of eye protection. Because once that thing bam, inside your eye, <laughs> hey, that's that. See the next. That's see. It's fine. It's fine. So please protect your eyes. Protect them now. Very important. Now, if you think that there's something that I missed out, because it's not looking like some of you want to collect the doctor's certificate from my hand, write it in the comment section. Let's also learn from you. If there's something you think, oh, I think this part should also be included, put it in the comment section. Let's all learn from each other. But me, I've just said my own. You, if you can also tell me where you're watching from so that I know how to put some of these messages for you people, it's great. Yes, I know I said subscribe in the morning when I started shooting this video, but some of you missed it. Yes, it's red. It's red. It's somewhere there. It's somewhere there. Hey, click it so that when I release the next one, you will see it. Now you can go. Bye bye. Continue watching the next thing that you're watching. Alpha! Ah, Pokodesha Fiesta is back. Yeah, this time actually in two locations Lagos and Abuja. It doesn't last year, only Lagos. This time, hotter than. Yes, now. And then the theme is Y2K. We're taking it back to the 2000s. Uh -uh. As always, I'm always dressed for the occasion. Hey, yo, yes, yes, I'm already yo. dressed for occasion. <laughs> Excuse me. As I did, I didn't say the good apart. I don't understand what's going on. You must to understand. Okay, you see that promotion fiesta. Miss Abdi, good. Okay, come on, follow the job. How did you do that?